Good evening, everyone. On this, I think it's Wednesday. You'd think I'd get better at this during this COVID stuff, but I still sometimes don't know what day of the week it is. As long as I figure out Sunday, I figure I'm doing okay. So by Sunday, I hope I know what day of the week it is. Let us begin our evening in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning and your truth at the close of the day. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ in whom we are forgiven. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by Christ's authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. For our music tonight, hopefully we'll get some good song, some good acoustics, beautiful savior.
one of my favorite songs uh, in our hymnal. So tonight we are crossing the border, I believe. Let's see what, in our restless souls, down to Manhattan. So we're in Winnipeg and now we're in Manhattan. Manhattan Transfer, and it's from Nowen's book, Sabbatical Journey. It is 6 p.m. and I'm sitting behind the little antique desk in the guest room of my friends Wendy and Jay in Manhattan. I vividly remember when I arrived for the first time in New York. I came from Holland on the Mardam, one of the passenger ships of the Holland American Line. It was a free trip because I had been given the position of Catholic chaplain for the Dutch immigrants. It, I w it was in the early 60s. I can still recall the feeling I had when at seven o'clock in the morning we passed the Statue of Liberty and approached the imposing skyline of Manhattan Island. With me looking at the view was Zita, the exiled empress of Austria, one of the many passengers I had met during the trip. I took her picture with the skyscrapers in the background. I was all excited about New York, about Zita, and about coming to the new world for the first time. Now, 34 years later, I have come to know New York, its beauty and its ugliness, its wealth and its poverty, its open parks and little alleys, its splendor and its squalor. But I am no longer a tourist here. For many years, New York remained for me a place with incredible sights to see. The Empire State Building, the United Nations Building, Rockefeller Center, the St. Patrick's Cathedral, the Metropolitan Museum, Times Square, Broadway, Fifth Avenue. I saw them all and took photographs of them all. But then I came to know New Yorkers, people who had lived in New York all their lives, worked there, went to church there, had their circles of friends there. Gradually, New York became smaller, friendlier, more intimate, and much safer for me. Tonight, I am just full of gratitude for being invited into this city by good friends, Wendy and Jay, and by other loving and generous people. Through them and many others, the United States has become my country. And although I now have my home in Canada, I still feel very much at home in this country, and especially in this city. For one thing, can't imagine traveling the entire ocean by boat. That seems just kind of crazy. Um, choppy, big waves, long voyage, the whole Titanic thing. Um, <laughs> but once again, the immigration piece of leaving behind, even when you can go back and visit, but of, of going on journeys. In the Bible, Abraham, um, goes from Ur and goes to the land that the Lord has given him. And then the Lord promises land and a name and descendants as numerous as the stars. And then there was a delay, a long delay, when Abraham was kind of trying to fill in his own blessings of trying to find an heir on his own since he wasn't patient enough to wait on God. And God kept on saying, no, that's not the way. No, not this one. Until God's time was right to fulfill that promise in the new land, among new people, and yet filled with blessings. I wonder how often we try to rush blessings. How often we try to rush being comfortable and belonging and fulfilling the fulfillment of promise and promises given to us rather than knowing and trusting that one, they take some time and two, sometimes they're not ours to make. Sometimes they need to be given. And that is a very vulnerable place to be and very humbling that you're not the one that opens the doors. They need to be opened for you. You're not the one that sets the table. Somebody else does. You're not the one to 
to open the blessing, to bestow it. You're the one to receive it. Receiving, in my experience, has been some of the hardest things I've had to do in my life. When I don't have to give, it's not my place, it's not my time, I don't have anything to give in the first place, and yet that's what I'm called to do. And the transition of, you know, the the skyscrapers and the imposing and the history and everything, and then the belonging through the relationships. They do come. It takes time, though. Some because of of shared grief or just pure circumstance and Cairo's time of it just the right time. Some happen quicker than others, but others do just unfold in their own time. And trying to hurry it won't make it happen any faster. But God does unfold those blessings. God does create connection and blessing and home even when it's not yours to do and it's God's to do. It will happen. And there'll be bumps along the way. You'll probably, like Abraham, get frustrated and try to make your own way. And some of those ways will be blessings too. But ultimately, it is in God that we have all that we need. And God will find that way for you to find home or refind it or be found by it, however you want to say it. It's in God's time. And God is always faithful. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servants go in peace. My word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness, I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will bring me joy. Be our light in the darkness, O God, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now in peace, I will lie down and sleep. You alone, O God, make me secure. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.